Hello everybody and welcome to the replay. Come on in and say hello as you come in. I'm so excited. So, so excited for tonight. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am so excited for tonight's project. You guys are really high up there. <laughs> I am super excited. I am um, going to do something a little outside of my box tonight um, and doing some farmhouse which I've never been a farmhouse type person, but I am in love with all of these products. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a few minutes for everybody to come in here, um, whether you're here or you're watching the replay. Um, we have a lot of new um, people that have liked the Chocolate Tour with Michelle um, Independent Designer page, and I'm so excited for that. Last I checked, we were almost at 800 now, which is super exciting. So what I'd like you to do is if you are somebody that's new, you don't have a designer, um, you're not in my VIP group, and you are checking out Chalk Couture, um, please just put a one, whether you're watching the replay or if you're here. Don't be shy. Just put that in there. Um, that way I can get you some information about the company and give you a link to my VIP group so you can see my specials. Um, that would be super, super exciting. Um, okay, so we're gonna get started here. So Chaka Tour um, is a fairly new company that started in 2017 and we specialize in high-end DIY home decor. Um, super fast, super easy. I do workshops, I do home parties, um, and I do some vendor events. So there's a lot of opportunities there. And recently, people have asked me to actually make them items. And many people join Chocolate Tour for different reasons. Um, not everybody likes to demonstrate and do parties. Some of them just like to make things and they have an Etsy shop or they have different shops and they sell their items. I never thought I'd be that person. I never thought I had the, I don't know, creativity or, um, Hi, Lala. Yay. Um, so, yes, if you don't have a designer and you're kind of watching this and checking it out, put a one. Yeah. If you are one of my regulars and you are just loving Chalkaholics and you're one of my, hi, guys, then you can put a two. Okay. Guys. <laughs> um, not expected. So, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I have some special guests here. Your expander. Okay. Um, yes, you can, Lala. I would say that Chalk Tour, um, we'll just talk about this while people are. <laughs> okay, guys, please go upstairs. Uh, no, we're going to um, talk. You have to be very quiet, okay? okay? Yeah. Many people join for different reasons. Um, one of them is I love to just make stuff and I don't want to pay full price. Um, those people sign up usually for a discount. Um, and I will say Chocotour is the most generous of all direct sales and the discount you get as being an actual designer. Um, those people sign up, they get their kit, they buy stuff. And as long as they're designing they keep their discount and they're happy, that's one group of people. 
The second group of people, hey Cheryl, are people like me who I just love. I love it. I love to make stuff. I like to give stuff. I um, just love to create. Um, you don't necessarily have to build a team per se. You um, you just like doing workshops. You want to go to Hobby Lobby. You want to help other people. Um, you want to do things. Maybe you want to pay off summer camp like I did. Um, Chaco Tour is paying for my son to go to River Valley Ranch and he is staying overnight for a week. He's riding horses. He's zip lining. He is um, going to a camp and that did not have to come out of my salary. He's also going to a fortnight programming camp to where he's going for half a day with his little buddies. They're going to be playing on computers and doing things that I didn't do as a child and Chaco Tour is paying for that. Um, so that is another option. Some people just like to sit at home. They don't want to talk to other people much. They don't want to um, go to vendor events. They don't want to do home parties. They don't want to like travel anywhere. So they sit at home and do this fun, easy craft and they make the most beautiful things. And you can set up an Etsy shop. You can um, set up a shop at a vendor event. You can set up a shop on, um, if you have a local like buy sell trade group and you can make the most beautiful things and just sell them to people and nobody tells you what to price them at you value yourself you price your own item and you sell it and chocolate tour gives you full authority over your own business okay so that is really cool it is awesome <laughs> i feel like it's getting dark in here i'm gonna add a little light Whoa. so there we go it is very very awesome um, so if anybody here is interested in finding out more about the business aspect of Chocotour, I would love for you to join my team and I can help you along whether you fit in any of those categories. Um, it is very fun. So what we have tonight, like I said, is the very out of my comfort zone. <laughs> And you guys will see, like, th this is just a little out of my comfort zone. It is farmhouse decor. I've never been a farmhouse girl. My kitchen actually is more of the wine decor. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because um, I love wine, right? But these transfers finally took a hold of me. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to say the name of the store that I went to on my way home from work. But... No, it was not. These kids think they're so smart. They are having the most amazing sale right now that I don't want you um, to walk to the store. I want you to run to get these deals. And I kind of feel bad because I'm not going to tell you where it is. If you want to know what store I got these items from, you need to personal message me because I'm not advertising for them. Um, but... Look how cute this is. This little tray, isn't this adorable? And the crazy thing is this was under $7. Until tomorrow, this is on sale for under $7. <sighs> and it is a chalk surface. It is not chalk couture. And then, now that was a natural finish. So quickly, I did get a couple of them because they're so stinking cute and they're so cheap. If you guys ever seen these, these are wood finishing cloths. These are um, dark burgundy. And I took the cloth and just white. So this looked like this before. But I used the, the wipe. It dries in an hour, so this is completely dry. Isn't that awesome? How cute is that? It's a great size. This is a pretty big size. This one is under $9. Ah, that's crazy. Okay. So, not only that, the whole entire store is like half off. Um, you guys know my favorite thing is shadow boxes. This is a 9x9 nine nine shadow box. It's very sturdy. It's very high quality. But this store has buy one and then get two free. So, $22, but I got three of them. I can't say it on here, Sherry, because it's live in a public place and I'm not allowed to advertise for some place. Um, but send me a message and I'll tell you what store I went to because the sale is going through tomorrow. 
Um, and the So Said store also has an additional coupon for an extra 25% off all your regular and sale items that is good through tomorrow. So tomorrow when you wake up, <laughs> you guys need to run to the store um, to get these things. Look at the different finishes. They had three different finishes of these. And you guys know I love my, love my, um, Love, 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 love my shadow boxes. I did one in the winter. We did the um, the ornaments with the, the winter saying on there. At um, I did one with snowflakes. I did one at Valentine's Day that had Hershey Kisses and it said Kisses Five Cents. I did, um, what other one did we do? I have my little one here. I'll show you my tiny one. I did my, you can't touch this. And I chalked directly on the glass and I put some scrapbook paper inside. And then for Easter, we did, um, <laughs> yes, Cheryl, you are correct. <laughs> um, for Easter, which I have right up there, I did a Easter shadow box and it's full of peeps, full of peeps. <laughs> yes. So, um, I'll tell you what, these little wipes are worth their weight in gold because they were super easy. Um, luckily, I had gloves that I um, have had. It dries in an hour, and anything that you get on your chalkboard because you're trying to do the inner part of the board comes off with water, so it's insane. I may have some still on my arm, <laughs> but it is amazing. Um, so super, super awesome. And like I said, I'm not really a farmhouse person, but I am converting. Chocotour has changed me into liking pink. <laughs> I've never been a pink person. Chocotour has started me liking flowers. Ah, flowers. And now I'm like really digging this farmhouse stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a few that I have um, here that I was thinking. And I actually have some pictures of the ones that I don't have as well. Number one, how cute are these chickens? Oh my goodness, right? How cute would that look on one of these trays? Now, um, when people come to my house, the two places we sit are either in the kitchen or in the living room. Two places. I mean, I guess they go to the bathroom every now and again, but we're either pouring wine or eating food. <laughs> That's where we, we sit at, at my house. So how cute would it be? To have my little charcuterie board on this cute little board and all I had to do is put my little dishes of cheese and meats and olives and just carry it in <laughs> yes Sherry <laughs> yes yes um, now I'm gonna make one of these um, with the chickens because like I said before people join Chaco tour for several different reasons and um, I never thought I would be selling items but I I've been getting so many requests for different things and I'm kind of shocked because I didn't think that was in me. I thought I was just a demoer. <laughs> so um, I have a lot of vendor shows coming up and I know these are going to be great sellers so I'm going to go ahead and make a chicken. Now I do have a transfer. I'm sorry but it's retired. I've been holding on to this transfer waiting for the perfect project. Okay. Um, the top half says gather. The bottom says grateful and I think I would love the gather on one of these trays so for seven and nine dollars for all of these um, I'm gonna probably have one that says all of these on them whether I keep them or I give them as gifts because I am a gift giver I'm a gift giver and I don't buy gift cards I don't buy I don't know I just like something that is from the heart and it is made and there you go um, but the one I am most excited for, this one's for me. Like the other ones I'm going to make, I may put at a vendor show or whatever. This is my favorite. I don't even know if it's really farmhouse, but look at this. <laughs> We're going to make this tonight along with the chickens. Eat. Now, I know a lot of people love the eat and they like to put it on their um, dining room wall or their kitchen wall. I think it would be super cute on one of these little trays, right? Yes. Um, let's see what else. We also have this sheep. How cute is this sheep? I have never in my life been a sheep person. Ever. Um, this one I do have. Um, but it is 
behind me. Ezra, you're being too loud, buddy. Um, so it has groceries, farm fresh, Main Street Market, family owned and operated. There's a milk jug on there, and I know that I can't really zoom into there because I haven't really figured it out yet, but on that milk jug is an address for Baltimore City. Isn't that amazing? Let me see, let me try. It says 45 South Green Street, which really creeps me out because I used to work at 22 South Green Street. I used to work at University of Maryland um, and at Shock Trauma. So it's just crazy that 45 South Green Street's on here. I don't know if that's Lexington Market or what that is, but that is insane, right? And then we have this. Ezra Steven, go upstairs. Um, so this says mercantile black sheep wool. This would go super cute with that sheep. It says quality dry goods since 1902. Look at that scale. This is super cute, right? <laughs> I love it. And this is totally not, not something in my decor. Um, but it's crazy how you get creative and you see these things and you're like, I want that in my kitchen or I want that or I know a friend that would love that right so um I also did stain the smaller size look at this this is um another stained one the same size um this is like an 11 by something hey boys you're gonna have to go upstairs boys so you can put a beast I'm trying to grab a b-size transfer over here that would look good on there okay I got a good one I got a good one. Hold on. Oh, make it a mess. I have a whole holder of them. How cute is this? Well, let me give you a different view. So this is my um, smaller board. How cute would it be to say good morning, gorgeous, or good morning, handsome? I can see all your decor. <laughs> You're so right, Sue. And it already has started. It has started. Um, but how cute it would it be? For Mother's Day or Father's Day to have good morning handsome and you're serving breakfast in bed on this cute little tray you can't beat that right I mean if somebody served me my Mother's Day breakfast which I'm working Mother's Day this year but let's just say it's a different year and it said good morning gorgeous and I had bacon <laughs> if I had bacon on this tray I mean, come on, right? <laughs> so that would be super cute. That's actually a really cute idea to do for some of my shows coming up. Okay, so, hey guys. You're really disturbing me. You're not being quiet, that's the thing. Um, okay, so Sue, it's funny you say that because right now when you walk into my foyer, you have um, the You Are My Sunshine that is above where my mail goes, and it's in a huge chalkboard that is farmhouse. It has a sliding board. It's very farmhousey. Um, and then now over my mantle, you guys are going to help me design that next week. I have a whole theme going on that's about to go down next week with you guys. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and try to stop talking so much. Go ahead and share this video. This is one of those share ones. And we're going to start with the chickens, okay? I am going to make a disclaimer that I did not wax these boards because I didn't know I was going to get them. I can't believe the price they are until tomorrow. Um, Ezra Steven, please go upstairs. Um... So something that could potentially happen, you see this board here? Um, this is an unwaxed board from a craft store. And if you don't wax a surface that is not chalk couture, you may have some ghosting, which means that you might be able to see the project after you erase it. The good news is I'm not planning on erasing these. I want these to stay on forever. Um, and they'll actually be sealed when I'm done um, with a matte finishing spray. But Let's open these chickens. I've had these chickens forever. I've sold a lot of chickens. I have just never done chickens. But that's going to change tonight. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. Sue, haven't you? I don't remember if you've done these chickens or you did the rooster. 
whatever, whichever one it was, you did absolutely amazing. Um, and I have my Sharpie out and I'm going to write chickens on the back just in case I have a bunch of these um, transfers that are the same size during cleanup. I know what goes where because you're going to reuse these transfers over and over. So I could just make tray after tray after tray and hand them out for Christmas if I wanted to, right? <laughs> so um, the first thing you're going to need is a fuzzing cloth or a clean towel. We can just use one or two. Sometimes I line two up, but in case you only have one, I'll show you how I do one, okay? And you want to, you did the chickens, you want to put some lint on the back of this adhesive side. You don't want it to be so sticky um, for a couple of reasons. You want to lint it so that you make it less sticky so that it doesn't stretch as much when you go to remove it from your surface. And you also want to protect your surface. Because this is not a chocotour surface, there's no guarantee on the quality of it. Um, and sometimes if it is a less, uh, I don't, I hate to say it that way, but if it's not as good as a quality as chalk couture, the adhesive, if it's too sticky, might pull up some of the chalk, um, that's meant to stay on the board. And with a transfer that's as big as this, what I usually like to do is only pull off half. You want to be very careful, especially on these bigger ones. You do not want to stick the sticky to the sticky because if you stick the sticky to the sticky, you can ruin your transfer. So I'm going to pull it upside down and I am going to fuzz this half. And because it's brand new, I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to refuzz this way. And I'm going to pull it up and then it's kind of back on the backing and then I'm going to do the other side. But if you are just super prepared and you have two of your fuzzing cloths, if you have a chalk couture fuzzing cloth, the fuzzing cloth is a side that has the tag. It's very coarse. Um, there's another side that is very smooth and that side is for um, wiping smudges off your board and sometimes I use it for drawing a transfer that's wet. Um, I'm going to take the other side, I'm going to put it down, and we're going to do the double play here. Super easy, just a couple times, and then you want to inspect it to make sure you don't have too big of a lint on it that's going to obscure your transfer on here. Mm, yeah. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me on this Friday night. We are at the hump day of my work week, <laughs> which means I work seven days straight and this is my one in the middle. I start on Tuesday and I end on Monday. So I've already done Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is my middle hump day, Friday. And then I just have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I have a whole week off after that to chalk. <laughs> Yep, yep. All right, so I think this is perfectly done. I'm just going to make sure I can see these big balls of lint, but they're not in my screen. I'm going to put this to the side and move my fuzzing cloth. I am so excited. <laughs> I am so excited for this. Okay, now we are just going to figure out where on this cute tray we want this. And you don't have to seal this when you, hey Vicki, if you don't want to seal this when you're done, you can always um, not seal it. Um, I will show you with my O-Snap, which was one of our Club Couture transfers. The chalk paste is not going to smudge if I touch it. But if you're carrying liquids on here and you were to um, spill liquid, then um, the chalk paste is going to come off because it is water soluble. But if you're just putting little dishes of stuff or using this as decoration, you don't have to worry so much because it's not going to mess up just by sitting there. And I'm going to smooth it down. You want to kind of make sure you don't have any air bubbles and all those little screens. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm making sure I don't have any fuzz that's in the way. I have some fuzz that's not in the way. Um, 
And you can get as creative as you want with this. My vision for this was to be black and white. <laughs> I like the black chalkboard and I think it looks very country and it looks um, perfect in just those two ways. So I'm gonna grab my bright white. We're gonna open this up. And what you wanna do when you have your chalk paste is you want to take a stir stick or something that is not a little bit of blue in there and you want to stir it up this is a perfect consistency you want your chalk paste to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt and even if you're using a single packet like this or you're using a jar you want to make sure that you have the perfect consistency if your chalk paste is thicker then you want to use a little bit of distilled water and you Ezra Steven Ezra can you please go upstairs You keep saying it, but you're very loud. So then we're gonna make sure that if it is any thicker than Greek yogurt or sour cream, then we're gonna put a spritz of distilled water. You do not wanna use um, tap water because there's been some reports of not only mold, but I guess with all the minerals in there, and I've had this happen once in the very beginning, you'll see that maybe your chalk base bubbles a little bit and sometimes enough pressure can build up in the jar that the top can blow off and make a mess. So we're going to stir this up. And one of my favorite tools that I'm going to use for this is our four inch handle squeegee. Look at this monster. That's really cool. So what I'm going to do, you want to watch Carter? Come on over. So Carter is my little VIP because he designs wow. better than I do, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to take some white chalk paste and just put it on here. You don't have to paint over it. I'm just going to put it right there because a little bit's going to go a long way. Um, and I'm going to take my four inch handle squeegee and we're, so big. it is big, isn't it? We're just going to watch how far this little bit goes. I can almost hear them. Tell me what sound a chicken makes. Buck. Buck. <laughs> and we're gonna get those little chicken fingers down here. That's what Carter likes to eat, some chicken fingers. Yum. So you guys saw, I just put that bit on there and I have all this extra on here. So we're just going to get all the excess off. You really only want a thin layer. You don't want any caking on there. You don't wanna um, clog up all of your screens and then before this dries in your screen because if it dries in the screen when we go to peel this up it's going to be in the screen and it's not going to be on our chalkboard right so I'm going to grab will you do me a favor Carter and hold the board down right there look at those little hands and then we're going to pull this way nice and steady you don't want to go too fast you could even use a ruler, and a ruler will help. I'm being very careful because, like I said, I did not wax the surface, and I do not want to stretch my transfer. Hey, Courtney. Say hi to Courtney. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hi, Courtney. Oh, this is beautiful. And then this transfer here can go in a water bath. I'm actually going to put it by my sink and I'll wash it when we're finished. Thank you, Carter. So, how are you doing, Courtney? I'm going to show you guys how this one turned out. I'm very excited. I got a little bit of water on the board here. Let me fix that first. Then I'm going to show you guys how this one looks and we're going to move on to my favorite one. Okay. Gosh, I really got... How did I do that, Carter? Okay, you guys ready? Are you ready? You've already seen it. <laughs> Look at the detail in these chickens. <laughs> I can actually feel like an egg is gonna pop out of one of these any minute. <laughs> <laughs> right? What do you think of it, Carter? Good. Good? Yay! So there we go. Let me put this over here. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, this is what I wanted to do. There are our chickens. And um, this one is a little smaller, so I don't think we could have fit the farm fresh. Let's see if we can. 
I don't know. What do you think, Carter? I don't think so. No, it's farm yeah. fresh is a little too big. Yeah. Yeah. Those chickens were a little bit too big. Yeah, those are big chicks. Is maybe not chicks, and they'd be really small. Why are kids smarter than me? Okay. So this one, I'm going to say is done. Now you can take one of our chalk fonts and you can act like I could put on here postals. Or if I was giving this as a gift, I could put um, sand nurse, <laughs> wagamans, right? <laughs> so we are going to move on to our next project. Let me put this to the side. I just love this. I hope to see a lot more hearts and a lot more thumbs up on this project. I'm going to put this one aside to dry. And like I said, we can seal it um, or just leave it. There we go. Can you go put this on the table over there? You're such a good helper. Such a good helper. Okay, so and then I'm going to grab my next one. Dun, 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 dun. I, like that I know. One. Which one? Oh, you like that one? <laughs> well, maybe you'll put something on there, huh? Okay, so now we have... What about the side, Lala? Oh, can you get that one back? Mm -hmm. Let's see about the side, if it'll fit. So these um, transfers are called chalk stories, which means there's a bunch of different transfers <coughs> that you can put together to create your own chalk story. Oh, you mean here and here? <laughs> you might be able to do that. This one needs to dry. There we go. All right, Carter, put that back. Thank you so much. He's like my Vanna White. Okay. So now we're going to do the one that I want for myself. Maybe I'll have Carter do this one to show how easy it is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> want to see what, what I picked? Eat! <laughs> Eat! This is what I seem to do all the time. <laughs> Me too. You too? So. And I eat a lot of it. I don't know. Did you even finish the dinner I fed you? Most of it. Did you? No. I don't think Ezra did. No, he ate like one bite. Like Could you do me a favor? And let's um, run that underwater so we can clean that off. Hot or cold? Cold. Okay. So we are going to do eat. And then we're going to fuzz this just the same way. And you could do fun colors. You could marble this. You can hot mess this. You can really do any method that you want. But, again, I am really loving right now black and white. I think it's very classic. Mm -hmm. You are such a good helper. Mm. Good Carter's here to spend the night with my son, but I could just play with him instead, right? <laughs> yeah. What would you put on that board? Bunny. A bunny? <laughs> what did you make last time? You made a lobster and a crab. Yeah. Yeah. And a and I, and Just to show you that eight-year-olds can do this. Hey, Kim! And I made, uh, hold on. Ezra made a sign that said, don't grow up, it's no, a trap. No, 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 no. Yeah, you did. No, I'm talking to my baby. Oh. Okay. So. I've gonna... only made more chalks than Ezra and I don't even live here. You want to move in? Yeah, sure. No, your mom <laughs> would miss you too much. I can't handle you. <laughs> So we are just fuzzing again. We're fuzzing so that we pick up the lint. Just be careful not to um, get your sticky stuck to the sticky. And this one has a very large area of silk screen. Miss um, <laughs> Kim said Carter is a professional eight-year-old chalker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the bigger the chalk screen you have, the more likely it is that you could have some air bubbles in there. And I always tell people that bubble is trouble. Um, yes, that is true. It's true? Yeah. He says it's true. He's had an air bubble before. Um, I have been hot messing those chickens all day. Oh, I want to see them, Jennifer. <laughs> I want to see that. I love it. Um, so I am doing what I call super fuzz right now. That means I am over fuzzing kind of obsessively. Because I noticed on the last board that um, it's not the best finished board. And I should have waxed it. Um, 
If it was wood, I definitely wax 100% of the time. But if the chalkboard that I find on sale at such a ridiculous price, like I found these tonight and I don't have 24 hours because I'm too excited and I want to show you guys, then I'm just going to, what? Just going to, what? Go for it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put our word eat, eat. on here. <laughs> Isn't that what I'm always doing, Carter? Yeah. No, you say no. No, Miss Michelle. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, you, no, you only eat chicken. I only eat chicken <laughs> and I only drink water. Yeah. 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 So you want to kind of, you want to smooth out. Let me make sure, maybe I should move it up a little bit. You want to make sure that you smooth it out and that you don't have any air bubbles in there. Um, if you have an air bubble, it's going to cause a pocket of paste. How's that? Better? No. Um... <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Okay. I was gonna let you chalk this one too. Oh, oh no, I'm not laughing. You're laughing at us. So I'm like going to videos. smooth it out and just make sure I have no trouble. They're not as nice as the bright color ones I did earlier. I want to see them, Jennifer, because I saw your project the other night and I loved it. So if you see an air bubble like this, you want to kind of, you know what I call it? burping my baby. I'm going to burp my baby, get that air out, move it out. I'm going to burp my baby. Burp my baby. Let me see if I'm even too much on the side. Ah, Carter, why didn't you tell me I wasn't centered? <laughs> He's over here dancing. So let's, I want to see a picture of, of yours, Jen. Can you post them in the group so we can all see? All right, let's try to do this right, Carter. Gosh, what did I hire you for? doing the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> this is better. All right, so we're going to start in the middle and just kind of work our way out. And then we're going to get all the air. Oh, I'm going to love... Tonight I made the boys macaroni and cheese. I'm going to serve you macaroni and cheese on my new eat tray next time while you watch Beetlejuice. <laughs> okay. Make sure you have it down completely. This would look really cute hanging on the wall. That's what we put on top of Is it crooked? I don't think it's crooked. You don't think it's crooked? Would you tell me if it was? Yeah. You know what, honestly though, if I make something straight, they would think you just made it and I had nothing to do with it. Because everything I do is a little crooked, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so Carter, get your magic tool ready. Yep. Oh, this be dry. Hmm? This be dry. Yeah, I dried it off. And then we are going to Oh, I'm talking to Carter. Go grab a chair. My goodness. <laughs> grab a chair. I'm talking to one of my son's friends who is a master chalker. He's eight. You can already chalk that good. <laughs> and as other said, you can already chalk that good. You may need to fold the chair up to fit between the sink. Yeah. Here's my special guest of the night, Carter Copeland. There we go. All right. Come sit down so they can see you and say hi to everybody up here. We're going to show how easy this is. And then we're going to, our chalk paste has been sitting here open because I didn't put the lid on. So we're going to make sure it's the right consistency. Yeah? You look ready to go. Mm -hmm. What if I put some chalk on your nose? Mm. <laughs> All right. So... Just a dab will do you. Remember, you don't need very much. I am going to put some at the top of the letters, and he's going to use the four inch handled squeegee and just pull this chalk paste down and cover up my words. All right, Carter, let's see what you got. You've done this before. <laughs> I think a lot of it got stuck on the underside. Yeah. Hold on. Put that on there. There you go. Keep working. We can put any extra. Don't forget this line here. Yeah. We can put any extra right back into the jar, right? Mm -hmm. You only need a dab, but we have little hands here, so he's... It's okay. You can just drag here. Let me try. Let me show you. We're just going to go yeah. all yeah. the way... Frost, eat. I'm not eating that chalk. Why not? It's, it's disgusting. It's non toxic. Okay, I'll eat some. <laughs> I'm sure you've eaten worse. And then we're going.
going to put the excess right back into the jar. You haven't eaten worse than chalk face? No. I bet you picked your nose today. No. no? I don't pick my nose. You don't? Ezra picks his nose. I know. I know he does. Scratching my brain. You're scratching your brain. <laughs> okay. And you sit in the middle. Yes, Courtney, my son does help me. He's just not as attentive. Ezra, can you put this in the sink? And then Carter, hold the board. Hold the board. <laughs> We're going to. Stay. Oh my good! Look at what a good job you did. Wait, Carter, can you get out of this seat so I can sit in the middle? <laughs> There's no middle, Les. There's no middle. So we There's want to be right careful there. not to stretch, but it really is sticky to the board. Look at this. Just stand back there, and then do this. And then pow. Can you guys see me? Okay, it's good. All right. You want to be very careful here. Of your surroundings. Of your surroundings. Eat, eat. Ezra. I'm a sheep. Eat, Go eat. put this I'm over there, please. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. oh what's that for? Yes. <laughs> you don't know. stick the sticky to the sticky, buddy. I didn't mean to, I guys. Know. Okay. Just, guys. You see where the other one is? Put it like this mm -hmm. over top of it. Oh, never oh. mind. Ezra, I'll just take it. But. Yeah. Ah! I don't trust you. I need to wash my hands. I don't have anywhere to put it. Let me put it right here. Okay. Beep, beep, on the cheek. Here we have eat. Do you want to hold it up for them, Carter? Eat, eat. Hold on. Oh, you got that all over. Ready? <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready? Do you know what I've been waiting for? Show them. <laughs> eat. eat. Sleep. Apex. How cute Repeat. is this? Eat. So this is what I'm gonna serve their mac and cheese on next time, huh? No, I don't. I don't want mac and cheese. I love this. So it has like a, a vintage look to it, which yeah, is it perfect. Is. It is vintage. It is vintage. Look how cute this is. <laughs> I want to see a bunch of hearts on this one. Eat my butt. Okay, guys, go, <laughs> go, 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 go. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for your help. Yeah. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Eat my butt. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, kids are very, very good with chalk and short doses. <laughs> All right. So I have that one over there. Thank you, Carter. So. Your name is Carter. Thank you, Ezzy. So this is our eat. Thanks for roasting me, Carter. You want to play some Apex? I absolutely love this. And this is one that is going to be um, sealed. And I'm going to use this to serve my charcuterie to serve the boys my meal. Okay. Uh, guys, that's enough. Wait, this is mine. I have a feeling you guys are never going to. No, I did that one. That's not yours. Um, that you guys are never going to bed tonight. That's mine. I don't know where yours is. Okay. So if you guys have time, we can actually do another one. Yay. <laughs> Courtney said, oh, Lala, thank you. Oh, boys will be boys. Oh, my word. Speaking of eating bad, so yesterday I was eating pistachios. I cracked it open. And I put it in my mouth. I was like, this tastes funky. Uh, <laughs> you had it in your mouth, Courtney? Oh. What's, in your, what's in Courtney's mouth? Nothing's in Carter's mouth. I said Courtney. Um, I lost the board I wanted to do. Sitting on the table? Yes. <laughs> I'm so much smarter. You are much smarter. Than me. So I think we should do a cute little. I've got no horses in the back. I don't know if we should do this or not because we already did two projects tonight. Let's do three. Let's do. Let's hit four. Uh, let's do four. four. Let's do five. Six. Okay, boys. Twenty um, million. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be like. Oh my goodness, you're right, Sue. Boys will be boys. Yep. All right. So let's recap what we Whoa. did. Carter, can you bring me back the first one? Oh, yeah. Let's recap, okay? Because I see there are more people that missed the first one. So the first one we did was this cute tray that had the chickens. Look at the detail Carter. in there. Okay, thank you. And then after that... We did the tray that says eat. <laughs> I had the nut in my mouth, but I guess it. <laughs> Magnets are supposed to be really healthy. Um. 
So I already can say that tonight I will probably be buying more of these little trays online and picking them up at the store. The sale is only good until tomorrow. Um, I know. Ugh, I kind of feel like I wish I had another big one, but we do have can this make little sound one. Effects for your video? I'm using I don't need any sound effects as. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna tell Daddy to take you upstairs if you don't go over there and be quiet. That is, I just ugh, Courtney. Wait, you eat nut and it had maggots in it? Not me. Oh, who? Courtney? Miss Courtney. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so these boards have a little, um, have a little sticker on the bottom. I'm going to show you guys how I take it off if you have these annoying little adhesive stickers. Oh. You want to use some heat. Do you think we should do one that says good morning gorgeous or no. good morning handsome or hello gorgeous? I want to do uh, hello darkness my friend. I want to do hello handsome. So if you use heat the stickers come right I up. I have to do hello cute. There's not a cute on here. Now it just makes a circle on your board. I don't know. I kind of don't want to open this transfer because it's so cute. I'll be right though. back. I gotta go pee. Okay. Okay. Not, the whole world doesn't need it now. Yes they do. <laughs> Let me get a little board eraser. <laughs> Here's one. I'm just kind of grossed out by Courtney's story there. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we put on here, Carter? Uh, I wonder if we should just do... Um, I was thinking about doing that one. You know what we can put on here? What? We could put a truck on here. Ooh. <laughs> he went right to where... He already knows where the trucks are. No, no, I want to open a new one. Do you know where the used one is? Be super cute on here. It's in the front of that book. Ugh, I bet you're scarred for life. I would never eat a pistachio again, at least with a shell. I don't know. Whoa! Okay, mommy, I got you a truck boy. That's the tractor. The tractor takes a long time. Yeah. Where? Mama got you a truck boy. Leave it over there, babe. Thank you oh, for the tip. Off. They're a pain yes. to get off. Yes. What do you mean, Lala? Yeah. That one and the bottom layer. Okay. Well, and I'm then... Are you sure you didn't fuck before, right, Carter? Yeah. This? Let's see if it fits. And then, um... <laughs> hey, Stephanie! You've already missed the first two projects, girl. Now, on the one next to it yeah, is no, all the add-ons. Which me rolls, I threw up. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go grab something since we're all having a good time. Is it this part? Talk to them for a second, Carter. Keep them company. <laughs> Are you shy now? No. Okay, scoot over. <clears throat> oh, the sticker. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't message you back. I was working in. Did I? Oh, about Hobby Lobby? Yes, I'm having. Oh, my light's gonna die. Frank, his theory on pistachios and women. Donna Lee, welcome, Donna Lee. Oh my gosh, girl. So I think this is a perfect size board for. Oh. Carter, I left a sign over there that said crisp apples. Can you go grab it off the table? Yeah. I think we're going to do a truck real quick because we have more people here. And we can do um, a third project, right, Courtney? Because we're talking and just hanging out. Donna Lee, tell us about your theory of pistachios. Years. I don't have some. What is it? Mm. Hold on. Um. Over where you can yeah, So my friend
friend Kim and I are going to be at the Biglersville National Apple Harvest Festival. So it would be really cool to make something with apples on it that I have ready to go. But um, Donna Lee, during the transition of the next project, tell us this, because I already know it and it's hilarious. I'm just getting myself a water bath to put on the ground for that. Don't put your feet in. I'm watching you and heaven is for real. I think that women are like pistachios. Some are quick. <laughs> I remember this, Donnelly. You told me this before. Everybody can read that while I'm getting situated here. <laughs> can I help with this one? Sure. Please. Sure, sure, sure. I'll have to get in there. Um, you're going to have to crawl under the table. Okay. <laughs> Don't get into the bucket of water. I won't. Carter, you can help me pick colors, okay, if no one else is picking colors. Please. Donnelly, that is hysterical. All right, let's start thinking about some good colors for this. So I'm going to do this truck and we're gonna make a quick apple truck because I love this board. I made a pumpkin truck. You made a pumpkin truck. Didn't you make another truck too? Yeah, could I please have one? Now the truck is not beginner level. We can, Courtney, um, because there's a huge screen area which means there's high risk for bubbles. But we're going to, what? Make the apples golden. Golden apples? Yeah. <laughs> like golden delicious apples? Mm hmm Okay, so then we're going to put this on here. And if you're new and you just started watching tonight, um, what I wanted is that if you are kind of brand new to Chocotour and you don't have a designer already, like Lala did, just put a number one in the comments. Candy apple for the apples in the back. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to make sure we don't. Okay, Carter. Why don't we do, you know, it would be really cute. Not for this so much, but maybe for the outside, one of the shimmery metallic ones. Like one of the metal ones. You want silver truck? Um, what, how about for the body, though? The body, it should be. Getting all of the air bubbles out. We've lost our light. Let me ask you a question first, though, Carter. What? If this one sells uh -huh. at the festival, do I have to pay you? Yes. Oh, okay. You have to pay me, actually, the money for also the eat. I'm not selling that. That's oh, mine. Oh, oh. <laughs> Donna Lee has a one. Okay, what would you also pick? copper. Okay, so we're going to have a copper truck, a little rusted. You think, like, rusted, Carter? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our, cop our shimmer copper. These are super cool because they almost look like they have glitter in there, and they're always the perfect consistency. Um, what about the tires? Should we do them a different color? Oh, yeah. Let's do oh, the tires. Oh, wait. Here's the gold for the apples. We're doing candy apple for the apples. Oh, what color is that? That's a red. This red Um, That's a puppy. Do you have like a tan color? Maybe we'll do like a muted. We're almost there. Is this like a tan? No, that's pink. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Oh, great, Debbie. I'm trying to see who on here is new that I can send information to and then also give the link to my VIP group so that you guys can get specials and discounts and kind of learn more about Chocolate Tour. Did you find anything? Oh, that fell. Yeah. I'm going to have to send you home, kid. I'm just kidding. Let me see. What do we have here, Carter? Pinks and green. A lot of pinks. A lot of pinks, huh? Well, where's all of the... Look. The copper looks I need to phone a friend out there. I need some help. What if we do this color? This one with that would look great. So we're going to choose fawn because this is just our little background color. And then, there we go. So Debbie, is this the first time you've seen a chocolate video or is it just, you just don't have a designer? Okay. We're 
we're gonna do that for the outline corner. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna make sure that our chalk paste is a good consistency of sour cream and yogurt. And then we're going to put it over here. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you pick out like three different greens over there? Okay. Um, and then, um, there's garden powder. That's a good one. Just pile them right there. Oops. And I'm going to take one of our oh, mini squeegees and I'm going it. to just drag this water soluble chalk paste over my reusable silk screen transfer. Any excess can go in the jar because I put way too much on here. You cannot mess up if you do get any on the board that you don't want there. We're just going to take water and we're going to wash it off. And we're going to make sure we just have a thin layer. You don't want a thick layer of chalk paste on here. Oh, Sue, you sent Debbie? Oh, God. Awesome. Sue makes amazing projects. She is an amazing designer. So she's probably better than I am. So she's a little silly for that. Oh, perfect. Can you find candy apple? I think I have candy apple over yeah, here. You do. How do you know? I'm no, going to just. We're going to do some gray tires here. No, you have candy apple. I think I have it over here because yeah. I see, I see a yeah, you red. Do. So we're just going to do those little tires and then, and then, thank you. We're just going to grab a hold of our transfer and we're going to just peel it off. Look how easy this is. Do, do, do. There we go. Now we have the base. Want to put this in the little water bath down there? Put it sticky side down. Perfect. And then I'm going to use either a blow dryer or a dryer like this, and we're going to dry it. You should be making something for your mom right now. Why? What do you mean? I can make it when I'm done. When you're done. You can make it right there. You have to go over there and grab a board, make your own thing. What do you want to put on the board? Where? That was not finished. I didn't um, stain it. I don't want it stained. <laughs> All right. So you want to wait for your board to come back to room temperature. And then we're going to put our little stir stick in there. <clears throat> I need a new fawn. I just noticed that my fawn is low. Sue doesn't do videos yet, and I wanted Debbie. <laughs> Sue, you need to because your work is amazing with your little she shed. <laughs> You're working. So we want this just to be completely dry. Yeah? Because we're going to layer this part of the truck over. So because we're layering it, what you want to make sure, I'm a little nervous because we're layering on an unwaxed surface, but we're going to check it out. I know, right? Da, da, da. We're going to check it out. We're going to try. If it doesn't work, then shoot, we already did two amazing projects. I'll just turn off the camera and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to make sure we super fuzz it because you want it to be as less sticky as possible so that you don't pull up the fawn. Yeah? You know you're going to be in my YouTube video, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have to give you credit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And what you want to do with the truck is we're just going to center it. That's the hardest part. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Some of the newer transfers are either numbered or have different things. So we're going to smooth this over. You want to make sure you don't have any air bubbles. Bubble is trouble. Sue, when are you going to start doing your videos? Sue is on my team, and she does amazing work. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's getting so dark over here. Mm -hmm. 
I know. Um, you can switch that light on if you want. Which light? That big one right there. Oh, yeah. There's a switch on the back. So, Carter picked um, shimmer. Is it copper or gold? It's copper. Yeah. Shimmer copper. So, we're going to have, like, a B-52... And we're going to just put this on here. Just a dab will do you. How do you turn it on? At the top, there's like a little switch. Yeah. That's ah. <laughs> kind of just on my face, but that's good. I can see. And then I'm going to use our angled squeegee. And we are going to drag this over. Why aren't you doing this, Carter? I was going to do the tires in a different color, but I kind of like this shimmer so much that we are going to just put it over. This whole entire thing. I have a lot that's stuck on the back. I'm going to need one of those, so perfect. Put that back on there. And any I'm excess, a pile of stuff. huh? I'm just making a pile of stuff right there. Yeah, that's what I do all day. I make piles. It's hard to tell sometimes for me with the shimmers if I have it all the way on there because it's a little more sheer than the other colors with the shimmer. And um, I don't have good light. Not at all. Huh? Not at all. I know. What do I do about that? Um. Well, I didn't receive a text from Amanda Ogle today to charge my light, so it died. And I was at work all day. Okay. That's so, not really helping a bit. <laughs> that, that's just dying. Yeah, that one doesn't work very well, huh? All right. As long as they can see what's on yeah. here, that's good. If I look a little freakish because of the light on my face, that's okay, too. All right. So we're going to put that in the bucket. Let's peel this one off. Let's see how we did. Oh, Carter, you picked a good color. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Ooh, that looks Mommy. good. When I do this, it kind of bothers my teeth. Okay, well, do you want some Tylenol or Motrin? No. Look how gorgeous that truck is. I know, that's I'll, so cool. I kind of want to use my wax a Well, you guys can go upstairs and ask Mr. Steve to scoop you out some ice cream because he got you vanilla ice cream. I, no, I just want my wax. Okay, well, go upstairs and get your wax. My son got expanders put on today. All right, so we have our truck in the water. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. I like those two colors together. What do you think, Carter? <laughs> you know what? I, you don't like the colors together? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Um, over there on that mm -hmm. mat are more mm -hmm. of these. We're gonna need those because I need you to chalk the apples for me. Yeah? All right, I'm just gonna put the lid on there. I love it too, Sue. Sue said I love it. That's what Miss Sue said. Yeah. All right. So for the wheel, I use Storm. Lala gave some hearts, huh? That was also on the floor. <laughs> Am I saying it right, Lala? I don't know. Lala, um, it makes me think of Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little Whoa. That's a photography light you turned on, so it discharges. Ooh, it I know. Don't look at the light. I'm only going to draw. I see that was the light. <laughs> I don't even know if on camera, like Tomater, you're meaning? Can <laughs> you think it looks like Tomater? I don't know if you guys can appreciate the shimmer that this truck has, but it's very shiny. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You picked a great color. Mm -hmm. You're like, I know. There might be a flash. Hold your eyes. <sighs> okay. Where's our apples? Okay. Yeah. So, for the apples, we have... We have um, baskets for our apples, we have leaves for our apples, and then we have apples. 
So. <laughs> you know what we need over there? I need you to find the brown called bark. <gasps> barf? Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's this barf. project was completely unexpected. Um, I did not know we were going to do this project tonight, but this is turning out great. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Good. Does it feel better? A little bit. I'm just shocked that you did not want ice cream. No, I just want my lap. Oh, we lost our computer over here. Okay. So we are fuzzing. I do want to ice cream, but I don't feel like it. So this has two components. We have the basket and we have the little tops of the apples. And we're just going to align our apple baskets on our truck. And if you have seen the vintage tractor, um, these are all interchangeable. The tractor has, what? Okay, has an area that you can put the same add-ons for the truck. They can't see you, Carter, stop, stop. All right. All right, so now we have, <laughs> no, we have these. Have so we have the little green tops and then we have that top. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, okay. So the bark, we're gonna make sure, the bark is very thick. Wax. Ah. You guys are so silly. I'm supposed to be here. You told me to be here, so I'm doing the apples. Yes, you're doing the apples. And you know, we're going to do something really special for the words that, at the top. That looks like poop. <laughs> we have to decide Mom, if we want to do hot mess or if we want to do um, ombre for the words. Ombre. 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 So the baskets are small. So I'm going to take one of my squeegees that are ombre. cut and I'm not going to do it. Ombre. I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab my parakeet. I'm going to do the top first. I'm going to show you the paste and peel method. We're going to go over a lot of fun techniques with this one transfer. This is our parakeet. It's already a perfect consistency. Oh, I didn't even know I put the parakeet there. You didn't. Oh, I did. Took it. And I'm going to take the multi-tool. Look at all the toys we're playing with tonight. And I'm going to dip it in the parakeet. Yeah? Don't hurt that parakeet. And I'm going to get all of these little Candy. apple tops. Nice, fresh apple tops. I don't know. Is there a word for an apple top? I hope there's not a worm in any of these apples, Carter. Oh, I hope there is. Or um, maggots. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 eat pistachio. No pistachios. I have pistachios up in the pantry, Carter, if you <clears throat> want some pistachios. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay, so I'm we're fine. just spreading all of our chalk paste over our apple tops. Yeah? <laughs> and I'm going to just pull down so that our chalk paste doesn't dry in the screen right underneath like that with red and white or green and white sounds good that way we have that and then now we're gonna go back and do our little baskets with our bark. Can you bark? Yeah. How? Ah! Oh, okay. Ezra, why don't you go ask Daddy for sleeping bags? For this one, I'm gonna take another multi-tool. The sleeping bags down here. Oh, are they already down here? Did you guys already have a sleepover recently? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. He used to sleep in. Do you guys want me to make you bacon in the morning? Yes. Yeah. Too bad. Too bad for you. <laughs> we won't make you any bacon. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so, we're just going to do... Carter, I need a huge favor. Yeah. I need you to peel this transfer off because my yeah. hands are so tired. Wet. Ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. No, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Careful. Careful. You gotta hold the board down. Perfect. 
so now we have, oh, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I wish I had light. <laughs> so amazing. You wish. I wish. It's okay to have wishes, right? Yeah, but the wishes never come true. Are your eyes bothering you? No. Mm -hmm. I was just itching my eyeball. Did you bring your toothbrush over? Yeah. Okay. This is looking amazing. What do you mean, no? I didn't, I didn't, no, I, I didn't bring my toothbrush. No, I actually didn't bring my toothbrush. You didn't bring your toothbrush? I did. I did. Yeah, I did. I was going to say, because if you didn't, we'll have to spray the hose in your mouth to wash your... No. <laughs> that water comes from a cow's booty. <laughs> it comes out of the boom. It comes out of the box. Uh, all right, here we go. Those. Oh! So when you dry your chalk paste, it's really cool because it will go. I'm going to go. Huh? <laughs> it goes from a very shiny, wet paint to a very matte chalk. And like I said, it does not smudge or smear. Smudge. I, I smudged it. What'd you smudge? I smudged my leg. Are you ready to do some apples? Yeah. Are you sure? Where are the apples? The, the, right in front of your face. I don't have my glasses on. Well, then <laughs> put them on. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we're going to do what with our apples? We're going to paint them. What are we doing with them now? Candy apples. What are we doing with them now? Can Putting them. Oh, no, you have to fuzz them. Fuzz them, yes. Fuzz yes. them, yes. You learn well, Grasshopper. What? You've never seen Karate Kid? You haven't seen Karate Kid? Ezra, that's what you guys can do tonight. You can watch Karate Kid. All right. So now we're just going to lot. You've been afraid to try this one? Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Between the truck and the camper, it's a toss-up of my favorite. Especially now that you can use the stuff with a tractor also. So we're going to just kind of line this up. And we can see all of the apple tops that are green. And we're going to try to line them up with the apples so that they all have little tops. Yeah? Do, do, do. What do you think, Carter? Is that aligned? Yeah. Yeah? Totally not. Yeah. Totally not? Yes, it is. It, it is. Now, you have a big job to do. Yes. Because you need to keep the candy apple pink <laughs> on the actual. I don't want you over here. I don't want you over here. I just want you here, okay? And here's candy apple. Candy. Pick a magic tool of your choice. Uh, that one? Why don't you pick a smaller one? Because it's a small area. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to just put a little dab on here because that's going to go a long way. All right, Carter. Can you reach? Yeah. Why do you like farting? I didn't fart yet. Okay, you just want to make sure you get the top of the apples. That's okay. We can wipe that part off. Good job. Let me just get off all the excess. You did such a good job. I'm going to have to give you an apron. Right? Yep. Do you want to wear a chalk couture apron? Yeah, sure. So I'm getting off the excess. I'm going to put that in the bucket. We're going to peel and reveal our golden delicious apples. And one of the wow. coolest thing about Chalk Couture is we got a little bit on the board. Yeah. But is that a big deal? No. No. Why? Because you can literally just wash it we off. We can literally just wash it off. That's why you don't have to worry, Sue, because you can just wash all your art off. And then let it and then person use the board. And right. You can just use the board again. So we're just going to now this would be a good job for a Q-tip, which I don't have any down here. So we're just going to be very careful. I have Q-tips everywhere in my house because my sister likes throwing them. She likes throwing them? Yes. Oh, I bet she misses you tonight. Oh, before she left, she was hitting me. That's called a love tap. Okay. No, she was going. Oh, that hard? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to dry these a little bit. Yeah. I will say, I will definitely wax this part. Wow. Look at those cute apples on here. Ooh, those are some cute apples. Don't you try to eat these apples. They're non-toxic. Oh, <laughs> okay. I keep my
my bucket of water at my feet because I will splash water all over my project. Yeah. So we have a couple different options. There's a farmer's, farmer's market, market, but I like this one, just crisp oh, apples. I got something I did with mine. I put this on mine that I did last time. You're right. Okay, so Carter, have you ever seen ombre before? No. I'm gonna show you something then. I think you've kind of done ombre, not meaning to do ombre, because you're super cool. So I'm gonna show you what ombre is. Wait, is it when you mix color together? Um, it's kind of when you blend them like lighter to darker or different colors together. I've done that before. You have, but I don't think you knew it was called ombre. No. You're just ahead of your time. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like the crisp apples better than the. Farmer's market. Because all it has is a truck with apples. It doesn't have anything to do with the farmer's market. Yeah, but you can go to the farmer's market and buy apples, right? Yeah, but it just lasts so much better. True that. Alright. So we're going to put this down. You know what I need? What? I need three this size. One. He's picking up three mini squeegees. I agree, Sherry. Two. Three. You are so Okay. Um, Mozambique. Lala said so cute. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What did we decide on? What are we doing with that parakeet, Carter? Oh, the parakeet? Here it is. So we can do three colors. We'll do parakeet. What does she say? Green and white? Green and white and pink and blue. That's the colors of you. What if you did? Ombre. Hmm. 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 This is taking some thought from me. <laughs> he just spit in my eye. Um. I... Let me see here. Let's do some thinking. Hmm. Hmm. do like a green white red and try to make it that way but I'm I don't know if it's gonna match this I need a designer I know what you could do what you could do like green you could do like red and then green because apples no you should do red for apples because apples are red mm -hmm. then you should do crisp green because the stems are green so should we do like an ombre of reds and then, I mean, what? green and then an ombre of reds? Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we got. We have candy apple and we have poppy. I don't know, Carter. I don't have a middle red. Well, I know what you could do. What? Tell me, because I'm having a hard time. Anybody? I... I'm spent. You could, oh, you could do what? like brown. Or no, you could do like a silver and a gold. Like brown and a red. Deborah says yeah, use green, nice. yellow, and red, the color of apples. That's exactly what I said. <sighs> Find me a yellow. Yellow color. Um, oh, there's two different shades now. We have many yellows. Yeah. So we'll do bumblebee. Well, it, are there really yellow apples? Do you eat yellow apples? I don't think I eat yellow apples. Supreme. Do you see the one that's more of a lighter yellow? Yeah. We never, ever, ever use buttermilk. So we'll use buttermilk, candy apple. Oh, no, bye -bye chalk candy on the apple. run. Chalk on the run. Go get it. <laughs> no, Go get it. Get arrested. I'm going to arrest you. Oh, I got you. You're arrested. Okay. Random we'll man. do that, Deborah. Um, Courtney says, how about green and white for the crisp? Well, we're going to go with... This ombre, we're going to carry the same ombre across the board. And now I'm looking at it. I don't know if I even centered this well. Let's see. What are you doing? Are you?
you making fun of me? I'm going to go like this. Okay. Because I do love ombre. And you know what? <laughs> if this doesn't turn out, we're, we can just wash it off, right? So cute. No, you're not. Lala. Lala said this was cute. She didn't say you were cute. I know, because I don't want to be cute. You don't want to be cute? I want to be ugly. No. <laughs> You're handsome. All right, so here we are. I've never seen a yellow apple. That's what I said, Courtney, but I mean, there must be, because Deborah lives out in the country. <laughs> so I'm going to do green first, and I'm just, you have to be careful when you do ombre, because you can actually have some waste with this. But... It is really cute. So I'm going to put that there. I think this is going to look really good. And then we have buttermilk, which I've no ooh, I haven't used in so long. That you haven't used that. It's ugly and fat. <laughs> and it's chunky. Chunky, chunky. You're not being very nice. No, it is actually chunky, though. It has little chunks in it. It does have chunks in it. But I'm also a little chunky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're grounded. Okay. Me. Because I'm going to be sitting right here. <laughs> so let's give me some a million dollars. A million dollars? Yeah. Deborah, you got some love in the mail today. I sent all of my Club Couture um, subscribers some love mail today. And one had your name on it. And I just... Got. What if I subscribe to your channel? Will you give me something? Oh, no. Aww. I just dropped something on there. Um, let me see if I can get that without redoing all of that. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, 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 oh, we have to redo our apples, Carter. Dun, dun, dun. We'll have to redo our apples. Oh, oh no. The poor. Come at me. That's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, Carter, do you want to see me teabag on no one? I'm looking. Because I can't I'm see looking. what I'm doing. Now we're going to do this. Like Those it. apples will be super uh -huh. easy to redo. I, didn't tell anyone and I'm still mm. I can't believe how many projects we have done tonight. I okay. No. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take it's three. Hey, Tracy! Three different squeegees, and we are going to take the first color and bring it down. What? What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Really? How do you know? It's 9.53. Oh, really? Go to bed. Look, see? We're not going to bed. Until 1 o'clock. <laughs> so we're going to do the first color. I feel bad, Carter, because I messed up the apples. I know. Oh, this is turning all into a mess. Really? Uh, it's it's um, it's pink. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Well, that's okay. It's going to turn into more of a hot mess than an ombre now. Hot mess. Yeah, because I put too much. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I put too much chalk paste on here. Yup. Mm, 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 mm. But I think it's gonna be nice. If it's not nice, we're gonna just erase it. And just then like have this a bunny. Apples. A bunny. Yeah, and then have a bunny come eat my face off. You are like delirious right now. Delirious. The White House. Like, you know your mom's probably gonna watch this video. I'm gonna take my finger and we are going to I'm not here, mommy. blend like this. I'm in bed, okay? This is the imaginary Carter. Whoa. I think I like chalking and quiet. <laughs> All right. Said a word. You haven't said a word. That looks cool. It does look cool, but I think we're gonna have to do some fixes here. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. You can't really see the yellow that much. Yeah, you. it kind of blended in, didn't it? Yeah, there's like makes it kind of like a, like a scrub. All right. Let's put this in there. What just happened? Ugh. Bro, what's my teammate doing over there? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Carter, when do you want to go to bed? Uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I don't think so. I think so. Oh. <sighs> Okay. There's, there's one sleeping bag that was done here that I can't find. I'm going to look for the sleeping bag. I am going to... Pink. Blue. Orange. Carter? Blue. This might be a little weird, but we have to share a sleeping bag. <laughs> so I'm 
I'm taking a board eraser and I'm cleaning my um, apples. I like it looks good. Thanks, Deborah. I think it looks good too. I just feel bad that I messed up these apples. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to fix your boo boo. What is that right there? Oh, I call the orange one. Okay. So I just washed off two transfers. My boys want to know who your boy is tea bagging. Did I miss something, Tanisha? <laughs> Come back. We found the sleeping bag. Oh, you did? Yeah. Darn it. Because I was going to tell you, you could just go home. That's just blind. It was literally sitting right beside your tea Well, bag. he is my Why son. To the world? All right. So what we're going to do. The world. Oh. Did Ezra say something about tea bagging? Yeah, he did. He did? Yeah. Why? I don't know what it means. What? What does it mean? I don't know. It That's why I'm asking. I need a pillow stand. Ezra, I am just taking a paper towel. Ezra, what does tea bagging mean? Tea bag? Yeah. It means crumbs are down and up very fast. Okay, your mom wanted to know. I'm just going to redo the top of the apples. What are you doing? <laughs> Apparently, Tanisha, my son is playing a game that teabagging is a thing where you crouch down and stand back up. Really fast. Yeah. Like this. Really fast. That's, that's what it means. I'm doing it right now. Yes. So I'm going to put, I don't think I have enough light to even do this right now. In here. Carter. I was just dumping some of it. I actually was it. Can I have an apex when I'm sitting down? I need to Oh, I'm pink. pink. What? I'm blue. You're blue? I'm green. I'm Let's yellow. see. I don't know if I'm I have human. enough light to line this up. I don't like the light. The light really doesn't work. The light? Well, we have to say boo on you, Miss Amanda, for not reminding to charge it. She's supposed to remind me by text to charge it. Boo on you! We're just going to redo the tops. I like it. I love it. It looks great. My boys want to know who is your boy... Who your boy is teabagging. Mm -hmm. So now we have the tops of those. And we're just going to redo the top of the apples. Teabags. Tea <laughs> <laughs> oh, your son keeps saying something about teabags. Teabagging, not teabags. Miss Michelle knows all about teabags, but you guys do not. All right, close your eyes. One last step. So you guys can see it's easy to fix mistakes and <laughs> redo. That's so funny. <laughs> I froze and it blinked. Oh. And then we're going to line this oh, back yeah, this up here to put the tops of these apples back on. I mean, the ap actual a apples. Apple. Yeah, Pink <laughs> apple. I think the sleepover was a bad idea. It was a great idea. So I'm just going to get my it's candy apple black. back. I love the lettering too, Tracy. So do I, Tracy. Give me a tool. Okay. Give me a tool. Hurry, 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 hurry. Eat it. Can I tell you something? What, baby? You'd be the best third grade teacher. I would be the best third grade true, teacher? True, true. 
I would never be able to be a teacher because I don't know how they do it all day with you guys. I would go flipping nuts. You could do it with me. Okay. I'm good in school. Yeah. No, I actually am. I've, I've gotten no ends on my report card. I know. Oh, see, you don't even know that I had to redo those apples. You I love the lettering, know. too. You don't know. She did not redo them. Do me a favor. <clears throat> Why don't you, while I show them this, go get our first project? Okay. Yeah? Again? Yeah, again. So let's see what we did tonight. Oh. Can you turn off that light too, Carter? Because it's hurting my eyes. Yeah, hurting mine too. Oh, there we go. Okay. We started at 7 and now it's 10 o'clock. We did not. We started at like 8.30. Oh my God, we started at 8.30. This is an hour and a half in. Well, we did do three projects. I'm going to show everybody the three that we did. And remember, if this is your first time and you do not have a designer that is helping you out, please put a number one in the comments, okay? Put a number two. That is so I can reach out to you. Oh, be careful. It's still wet. Um, and get you into my VIP group and help you out. True. This is number one. We did the chickens on this amazing tray. Dun, dun, dun. Bok, bok. Bok, bok. Number two is eat. <laughs> no, seriously, it's eat. She's not kidding. Project no, not number kidding. two that we did together is eat. Eat. This is going to be how I serve these boys their bacon. Project number three. You did so good on this project. Mm -hmm. You picked great colors, too. Is our crisp apple truck. How adorable is that? I think you can't. I think it looked better when I showed me. down here. What do you mean, you? It, it looks it's better when trash. it's me. What do you mean? You're trash. <laughs> what do you call me? Trash. <laughs> looks better. Look at that. Look at our trash. crisp apples. I was really going to. <laughs> take this to the apple festival but this might have to stay in my house i don't know if you guys can appreciate it or not but this video got to go aggressive he oh, chews dude. some shimmer no, copper sorry, yo, sorry. do not you better call me a god at the game <laughs> all right so that is all one more courtney said i think an hour and a half I'm is punishing good. You. guys um no, maybe not. just maybe no, we'll do a project you. tomorrow night um, I am super excited about what's coming next week. There's going to be another one after this, but it's not going to be you guys, for you guys. It's going to be for me only. Thank you, Sue. You have a great night My and a good weekend as well. Away. I hope to see you guys tomorrow night right here. Look at those apples. Everyone has to FaceTime. Somehow no, that reminds me of the Mexican flag. Night. Or is it Italy? Okay. Or Spanish? Yes. I don't know. I don't know my flags. Neither do I. <laughs> you don't either? Thank you guys so much for joining me and have a Bye. great night. Bye.